This is Kate D. Camillo. She was born on March 25, 1964, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Shortly after this, her and her family moved to Claremont, Florida, where she was raised, and she currently resides in Minneapolis, Minnesota. When asked about herself, Kate D. Camillo said, Well, I am short and loud, and I hate to cook, but I love to eat. I am single and childless, but I have a lot of friends. I am an aunt to three lovely children and one not so lovely dog. When asked about why she wanted to be a writer on her website, Kate DiCamillo wrote the story of a time when she was in college and she was told to write an essay for one of her classes. She said that she wanted to be a writer, but she had no interest in writing. So she put off the essay until the last possible second. She wrote about a woman that she met outside of her local Winn-Dixie. She focused primarily on qualities that the woman portrayed. She talked about the words of the song that she was singing and described her broken fingernails and her blue eyeshadow. A week after she turned in her essay, the professor read it aloud to the class. He said that her writing was extraordinary and that what made it extraordinary was the person that wrote it took the time to see the person she was describing. That's what writing is all about, seeing. It is the sacred duty of the writer to pay attention to the world. Kate DiCamillo ends the story by talking about that not until years later when she finally made the commitment to writing that these words found their way back to her. And what she thought was this, I cannot control whether or not I am talented, but I can pay attention. I can make an effort to see. She said that she wrote as she saw the world. She says, what stories are hiding behind the faces of people you walk past every day? What love? What hopes? What despair? She ends the story by saying, I feel that I have been blessed over and over again. Kate DiCamillo has 21 published works, seven of which are novels. These include Because of Wind dixie released in 2000, The Tiger Rising, released in 2001, The Tale of Despero, released in 2003, The Miraculous Journey of Edward Tulane, released in 2006, The Magician's Elephant, released in 2009, Flora and Ulysses, The Illuminated Adventures, released in 2013, and Remy Nightingale, released in 2016. D. Camillo has also released two book series. Bink and Golly series has three books, and the Mercy Watson series consists of six books. She's also released two picture books and three short stories. Kate D. Camillo is one of only six writers to win two of the Newbery Medals for the Most Distinguished Contribution to American Literature for Children. She won this award in 2004 for her book The Tale of Despero, and again in 2014 for her book Flora and Ulysses. Kate DiCamillo's book, Because of Winn-Dixie, won the Newbery Honor Award in 2001, as well as the Josette Frank Award in 2000. In 2006, DiCamillo won the Boston Globe Horn Book in the children's fiction category for The Miraculous Journey of Edward Tulane. Shortly after this, in 2011, she received the ALA Theodore Seuss Geisel Medal for Blink and Golly, which was awarded the most distinguished book for beginning readers. Kate D. Camillo has had two of her books made into movies. Because of Wind dixie is a live-action movie that was released in 2005, and The Tale of Despero was created into an animation movie which was released in 2008. Imagine that you are a princess, and in the middle of the night, you are kidnapped and held captive by your lady-in-waiting. And? The rat that killed your mother? To make matters worse, it seems like your only hope for freedom from the dungeon is a tiny mouse named Despero. In this action-filled book, we get to follow along with Despero, the Rat, Rescuro, and Migariso, a lady-in-waiting, as they each talk of the princess and her importance to each of their stories. To figure out if Despero can save Princess P, you'll have to pick up a copy of the book for yourself.